This is my 64 Galaxy 500. It has a 390 cubic inch V8 factory four speed. It has the Ford track lock rear end, which is like a Chevy Paz attraction. I think the rear end ratio is about 390. I regard this car as a, a full size muscle car. I remember 1964, that's when uh, the GTO came out. Uh, what a lot of people call the first muscle car. This is same thing, but it's a full size car. And I like it. It's it's a basic car, it's a hot rod, uh, has no power steering, no power brakes, no air conditioning, manual windows, it's just a, it, it's a car. And uh, for me, I've had it about nine and a half years. I looked for a few years, I, I wanted a full-size Galaxy like this. Uh, I've driven it maybe 1,300 miles total. It's always been parked indoor. I've always had one or two or three other cars while I had this, but I, I like looking at it, uh, I like waxing it, detailing it, it's pretty much uh, the way it was when I bought it. Uh, I had new, uh, new tires put on it. It, it had, it, and it has, 15 by 8 inch steel wheels. I put on Mickey Thompson tires on it. I wanted the 60s effect uh, tires that say Mickey Thompson. Uh, they actually have white letters. If you would take the tires and turn them around, uh, they're white letters. But anyway, they're Mickey Thompson tires. Uh, I put Magna, I had MagnaFlow mufflers put on. So it's got a special sound. Uh, a prior owner, the, the car was, the, originally it was a 300 horse 390, uh, that's a single four barrel carburetor. Uh, pretty sure this is not the original block. Uh, but uh, prior owner uh, took off the four barrel and put on a, a Ford Performance uh, tri-power manifold. Also put on Ford Performance cast iron exhaust manifolds and he found a, a Ford Racing uh, distributor, dual point distributor, and then converted that to Petronics. So prior owner, or actually it was two owners before, uh, did a lot of stuff on it. The paint, I've just polished it a, a number of times. Uh, what else did I do? I put on some, had four new shock absorbers put on, front end alignment, and then I looked for some black, light, black California license plates. Uh, I had a new 64 Malibu SS uh, when I was certainly much younger, and my license plate began with the letter O, so I looked on eBay for a few years and found these current black plates that begin with an O. So these were plates that uh, were issued in Southern California, 1964. So they're correct uh, for this car for, uh, for, for California. Uh, I really like the four speed. Uh, my Chevelle had the same kind of four speed shifter with the trigger that you lift up to go into reverse. So when I'm driving it, it's, it's almost like I'm driving the Chevelle again. The two additional things I'd like to mention uh, I've had some old cars where when you close the door, you got to slam it and it's all out of alignment. This car, uh, when you shut the door, one thing that impressed me when I saw the car is that you shut both doors and it, they close just like a new car. So that, to me, that was very special when I saw the car. Uh, also, it, I wanted the basic kind of hot rod muscle car, so I did not want the Galaxy that had the bucket seats. I liked the bench seat arrangement. I bought it from someone who put it in his collection for about seven, eight years. I think he bought the car pretty much the way it is. I met the prior owner who had the engine work done and uh, I think he did the body and paint also. And he told me that the engine builder put in some kind of a high performance racing cam. All right, something else. The paint, it, from a distance it looks white, but it's actually a slightly pearlescent paint. And the second prior, or the first prior owner told me he wanted the car to look like a NASCAR racer. When I bought the car, it also had hood pins. You could, you could see where they go. I didn't like the looks of hood pins, so I took out the pins and just put these rubber uh, little caps in there. But I have the hood pins, uh, there's holes in the, the metal structure below, so the pins could be put back in if you like pins. They stuck up and then they had a little ring through them. 